Hey guys, what is up? My name is Karen, aka Cakes by BBK, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the very first Halloween tutorial on my channel. Hooray! And as you guys can see, it is on this half face black and gold skull look I got going on. I did like a cut crease with the gold on my eyes and I really wanted the bottom to match the top. So I used the same shadows and this I feel like is pretty easy. I didn't put too much detail into it, like not too much shading and it is really easy with this gold that I popped in here in my teeth. So without further ado, I'm so excited to teach you guys how to do this and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so first off, what we're gonna do is apply the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade white, obviously. This one is actually a lightener for their foundations, but I like to use it for my Halloween looks. I did a similar look last year, but I think I wanna revamp it a little bit. I'm gonna add some glam, make it really dramatic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this on the bottom half of my face with my Maybelline sponge. Just gonna apply some on the back of my hand. And as you can see, I'm just gonna bring it up here. That's where my foundation that I apply to ends. We just wanna get like a nice blend up here. So you're just gonna lightly dab this in so there's like no line of demarcation. And that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna apply a second layer just to get that nice coverage. And make sure to cover the lips as well because we are going to be drawing over that. I hate my little like sideburn things. Just gonna apply a little bit on the nose and I'm just gonna do the bottom portion of the nose right here. And now I'm just taking the clean edge of the beauty blender, or of the beauty sponge, and I'm just going to blend the white into my foundation a little bit more. Make sure to get the sides of your nose as well. Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm gonna go in with my RCMA No Color Powder, which is great because it is a white, oh no, I just spilled a little bit. Which is good because it's a white base. I'm just gonna pour a little bit into the cap right here. This is an amazing powder, but I absolutely hate this packaging. Might have grabbed a little bit too much, but we're gonna take the flat side of this and then we're just going to pounce this into the skin just give a nice thick layer because this foundation as much as i love it doesn't set very well so we're just going to pat this in i should not have worn all black today and this is also going to help with making it a little bit more opaque and since i am just going in for a simple just face look. I'm not gonna bring it down to my neck just because I don't really need to or want to. Don't forget about your ears, y'all. And I just like to put on a generous layer because this foundation does move around a lot and we are going to be putting so much product on top that I don't really want it to budge. So that's why I'm putting so much powder on. All right, so I'm going to take a Sigma winged liner brush and then also the Sigma Wicked Gel Liner and we're going to outline the general shape of the skeleton that we want. So I'm gonna do some cheekbones, a little bit of, on the nose and then some teeth. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And you wanna feel where your cheekbone is and then go a little bit lower and then bring it back up just to give like some nice cheekbone effect. I'm gonna bring it down. And I'm exaggerating my cheekbones a little bit. And don't worry if you mess up this part because we're going over everything like with other layers of makeup. So don't even worry about not being perfect. Every so often I'm going to just wipe off the brush 
on like a tissue or something just because it does get a little bit messy. All right, so there's the cheekbones. And now we're going to do the jaw. So you're gonna start off where you started on your cheekbone line. You're just gonna bring it down and then curve it out. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's a really, really fine line. And you guys wanna do this like a little bit lighter. You don't wanna put down too much black because black is hard to fix once it's put down. So I like to go in like a little bit lighter. I always have such a hard time with my left side just because I'm right-handed. So I don't feel comfortable doing anything on my left side, but we're good, we're good. Okay, that's a little off. I know this is like a little bit far, but it's okay, we'll fix it later. And now we're gonna do my nose. I'm just going to make a circle. Right there. And then make a little bit of a dip in. And don't worry if it's not perfect. Again, we're gonna go over this later like a million times. <laughs> okay, now we're going in with Soft Glam. This one has the best black shadow I have ever used. It's so pigmented and so like jet black, it's amazing. I have made like such a significant dent in mine, if you guys can see that. But we're gonna use this. I'm gonna take my, of course, Morphe 36 and I'm just gonna dip into that black shade and we're just going to make everything more dramatic on these lines. And then you're gonna wanna stop about right there. So just deepen that up a little bit. And we're gonna do this with the bottom jawline as well. All right, we're gonna do this on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to take the shade Sienna right here. It's just this beautiful like burnt orange shade. And we're just gonna run this right underneath that black and then just blend it in. And then on the jawline, it should be above the black. And then we're gonna take Cypress Umber, which is the brown here, and then just blend that in there as well. And now I'm just dipping back into the black and just defining everything a little bit more. All right, and it's nice to have like a dry brush cleaner, especially when you're working with so much black. I'm taking a little bit more of Cypress Umber and just blending everything out. Then more of Sienna right here. Now we're gonna draw in the teeth right here so i'm just going to go back in with that wing liner brush and the same gel liner and we are going to just draw in some teeth i'm first going to start off with drawing the straight line across here connecting it to your mouth and then drawing a similar one on the other side Whew, working with so much black that's getting all over my fingers and all over my body and my clothing so we're gonna draw a line down here in the middle I want everything to be symmetrical all right now we're just gonna work our way out Now 
You know, we're just gonna do a rough sketch at this point, just like before. So it should look like that, and then I'm just gonna repeat that on the other side. Okay, so now I got that drawn in. I'm gonna take a small detailing brush and dip back into Noir from the Soft Glam palette. We have our general shape, but we wanna kinda round that out. So right here, I'm just kind of rounding everything out on the top and the bottom and just making it look a little bit more natural. And then on the bottom, we're gonna connect it to the jawline we have here. So we're just going to swoop that in. And same goes for the top. I'm just gonna swoop it in, swoop it in. And you're gonna do that for every single one of these. This is it's gonna take a long time. All right, so you guys have the kind of general idea going on here. I'm going to stop filming and then do the rest of the teeth. And I will be right back because I don't want to waste my camera battery. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to shade now. And we're going to use the same colors as we used right here. I'm gonna go in with Cypress Umber, and I'm kind of just taking this on the same brush, but since it's a domed tip, we're just going to just lightly diffuse that and brush that down for the ones that are going down. We're gonna brush it up for the teeth on the top. And we're just gonna do this for all of the teeth. And then we're gonna go into Sienna and do the same thing. Just make it lighter on the bottom there. And we're gonna do that for all of the teeth. And this brush is like the perfect size. So you just need like one swipe. Okay, so now we're gonna take Sienna, to that same like reddish orangish shade. And then we're just going to apply this right underneath where we applied Cypress Umber. And then if it's on the top teeth, then right on top. Basically what we're doing is we're just blending everything out. See how like there's this harsh line where Cypress Umber ends we're gonna put sienna in and then just diffuse that out there we go oh little butthole lip <laughs> we're just gonna go back in with noir on that same brush just gonna darken everything out again just because we did kind of take away the dimension so in the spots where like the shadow is super scarce, I'm just gonna go and like do this little thing and just fill that back in. And I've decided that now that it's looking kind of dark, I'm gonna take this elf molten liquid eyeshadow this is in the shade liquid gold and i feel like it's a really good match for the gold that's already on my eyes from the soft glam palette and we're just going to just swipe that down and we're just gonna swipe that down see how that has like such a nice contrast i'm just gonna do the same thing with all the teeth It's a nice contrast. I'm gonna do that with the rest of my teeth right now. Okay, so I went and finished the bottom part of my eyes and I filled in the rest with the gold and I do have to say I am absolutely loving it. And I filled in my nose. I'm gonna outline it with this black LA Girl 
uh, Glide Gel Liner. I've actually never tried these and I'm hoping it works well. Oh, this is super easy to use. Wow, that was, that just like glided on like the name. Wow, okay, that was super easy to use and I'm actually gonna use it in here as well. Okay, I'm gonna add some finishing touches like my lashes and fix a couple things here and there and I'll be right back with the completed look. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you like the completed look. I know I really do and I'm definitely gonna film some pictures for the gram. And let me know if you guys want me to do this in different like variations, like different styles. I could totally do that. I can do like a rainbow skull, which I was actually thinking about doing a uh, different version of the one I did last year, which I'll pop in right here. So like this video if you want me to do that and do a tutorial on it because I really think skulls are super easy to do. I mean, they are time consuming, but if you don't have a costume or anything, you just pop this makeup on and you can be like out the door on Halloween. So yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good good, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.